very lovely day today. I wish you could see it in the glorious colours that the camera would allow. There is Mr. H. Absolute round our surroundings. Now. And this little fella, we've not had him in videos. Still here, the um, bottle, bottle opener. opener come uh, lorry strap that um, featured in a lot of the early videos, but it's still here. Yes, uh, with Mr. H, um, we just had a conversation off camera. What kind of people do you think watch these videos? Well, I know for a fact, sir, that, that an ex councillor, a rather uh, controversial figure, watches these. Wigan, ex Wigan councillor. He even commented and corrected us on the number of people who live in Wigan. We said 80,000, he said it's more like 300,000. Do you think Wigan Council watch these videos? I certainly do. I know people from the BBC watch these videos. That's ironic, isn't it? Well, um, I know that me and Wigan Joker page was watched by the Wigan Council, and I'll tell you a story about that. Um, I used to be up at the Bellingham Hotel a lot when they did um, the, hotel, the hotel inspector. They had that horrible woman up there, uh, that Alex Polizzi, who... I've met her once and she's a horrible fucker. Anyway, they had an open day when they tarted the Bellingham Hotel up and they invited all the local dignitaries. As they do, yeah. The Bellingham Hotel got a call off the Murs office saying that, um, we've got an um, a rather delicate incident to discuss. Uh, Jimmy O'Neill won't be in attendance, will he, when the Mur on the open day, when the Mur attends because we don't want any embarrassing incidents so my videos must be watched anyway we're not on about that channel we're on about this channel I think the average person who watches this channel is intelligent mm -hmm. they're, they're obviously more switched on than the kind of people that watch other local channels you yeah. know because um, them tend to Cats be like, and skateboards and things like that. oh well just you, well, we know you know the, the kind of stuff. You know what I mean. The, the, what retards watch, but a lot of the people who watch this, like you've got Roger King, Lou Wally, and all. Video, most of the people who comment on our videos, I, I apologise if I'm not naming you here. You know, you they've obviously got something more about them than the average fuckheads who yeah. watch the other yeah. stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's, it's just interesting to think. I mean, you know, anybody can do that. They can put a video online and. It's just who, who, who ends up watching it. I mean, for for all we know, you know, you could have, you could have ro technically you could have royalty watching. But you don't know. That's the beauty of the internet, isn't it? If you were to do a live performance in Wigan, you know, you know, you know like it'd be a few cheers there, and then the. But this, the beauty of the internet is it's cast worldwide, and you don't know. Who, somebody in fucking Beijing could watch this, and they think, what the fuck are they going on about? You know what I mean? Yeah. And, um, yeah. You know, um, that, that video I did Fat Harry on the bus station, once it was watched in Tokyo, so I don't know the fuck they made of it. Yeah, it's... But it, it is a, a very weird thing when you put videos on the internet. I mean, I, I don't know about... Me, me, speaking for myself, if I'd done the, the, uh, the, the, the Fat Harry video, and I'm not going to get into the... It's a controversial one still to this day, that. Um, it must have annoyed you a little bit where you think, I hope this doesn't end up being my epitaph, you know, the thing that I'm remembered for is this. Well, it, it has become that, you know. Um, I could fucking split the atom tomorrow. Or I, I could come up with a new uh, equation for bending space and all I'm known for is a video with featuring Fat Harry on with a bus station. And it's still you know. mentioned, even in some comments, you know, from, and from it, these videos. It, you know, no matter what else I've done, that's... But... This is it, you see. Yeah, yeah, for, yeah, for, I, I just... I don't, I don't... See, none of the, none of this YouTube stuff and all that, I don't take it seriously anymore. And I don't mean that in a, in a derisory way to this. I mean, but... You don't do yeah, it yourself. I'm not under any illusions that some casting agents would watch this and... Because I've done television, me, and I couldn't give a fuck it. I don't want to go back on it, you know. Like, like we've said many a time before, you, things would have to change so much. You'd have, you'd have rules and regulations and guidelines to fall oh, in. Christ, yeah. yeah. They don't talk so I, I'm, I'm, I don't want a master, you know what I mean? I, I, I'm, I'm happy doing this, 
you know, and having a little small cult following, and th that'll do me, knowing that decent, intelligent people are watching it rather than just, you know, hordes of plebeian fucking dirt bags. You know what I mean? Um, and that will do me, really. You know, that all the people who watch this. I salute you because you're all you've all got something about you. I mean, that's one good thing about this. I mean, we, as you know, I'm a, I'm a quiet man, and I, I sort of really, I don't want to be recognised on street. I mean, no. it's nice when people do come up to you. I am like actually that. quite surprised no one's come up to you and said like, oh, I've, I've seen you on Fireside Thoughts. That I, that does surprise well, I me. Do get, I do I, I, I don't go round the town centres and no, that, no, no. drinking and that, Jimmy. So. I keep myself to myself, really. I have been recognised once by by a young lady at ASDA. Yeah. Um, I've gone in for something or other, but th other than I that... I suppose if you did go around Wigan on a Saturday night, you would get a few people pulling you up. But then you again, I, I prefer that, you know. Yeah, that's yeah. one good thing with the internet, it does give you that, that buffer. I mean, the thing is as well, just because you get recognised doesn't mean it's going to be positive recognition. No. I've had many people, you know what I mean, saying, you, you dickhead, you know what I mean, and unprovoked, you never met them. And it's it, worse when you when you're not expecting it. I think you know you've just gone out for a quiet night. You're in kebab shop somewhere. Well, like yeah, yeah, it, it's all gone on that, in the, in, you know. But if you put your head, if you put your head on the block, you have to be prepared to have it cut off, Indeed, you know. So, so but anyway, I think we'll leave it there at six minutes forty-five. So, uh, but um, don't forget to subscribe to this video, please. Um, we're just pushing for subscribers now. Thank you.